Hello guys, welcome back to Dharma Geosphere. Today I will be interacting with you on uh, the feministic geography. Uh, feministic geography is uh, main concern is regarding improving uh, the uh, woman's life uh, first and also the foremost and it is done uh, uh, to understanding the um, uh, sources of uh, the social spatial um, uh, dynamics uh, of oppression which have taken place during uh, so many years and during the past and trying to document uh, the uh, resistances uh, which uh, have taken place. So uh, the uh, feminist geography is one of the most important topics. Not many questions have uh, come during the uh, last um, few years. So a question is likely to come either in 2020 or uh, 2021. So while um, in attending to the objectives of uh, improving uh, women's life, uh, human geography has uh, adopted uh, very innovative and very practical uh, methods uh, uh, which become uh, imbibed in uh, the human geography. It also propelled uh, several debates on very basic issues uh, like uh, uh, housing, uh, education, uh, um, basic health and uh, other aspects uh, and it also fostered uh, insights into uh, global and uh, regional uh, improvements in the uh, um, economy and uh, society in the kind of uh, try to bring in economic uh, transformation uh, by fostering these insights over the years and it has also revolutionized uh, various research methods particularly at the grassroots level by bringing in some very primary data so, and uh, throwing up uh, uh, results which showed uh, the skewness in uh, the divide uh, difference between uh, men and uh, women. Uh, before you actually uh, attempt um, any question related to feminism, please do give examples so that will uh, enrich your answers and also uh, make it clear that your understanding is very clear on the aspects of um, uh, feminism. And don't con uh, confuse with uh, uh, gender or gender mainstreaming uh, in geography, that's totally different. Okay, so one of the first examples, um, as you all may be aware, is that uh, um, the uh, men now uh, were thought to have been uh, going to a far off distance and uh, be the breadwinner for their employment, whereas the women were supposed to be at home, looking after the kids, maybe the garden and the household, and also doing the basic cooking, etc. Uh, the other example uh, could be that. Uh, a kind of a personal access uh, where uh, women are considered uh, different as they perceive because uh, say for example uh, there is a uh, highway or this could be a park for a man uh, he doesn't hesitate he simply goes and walks in and sits anywhere but uh, a woman perceives that she should not enter a place in the park where it is a little dark uh, and all that. So her perception about uh, park or footpath or any other uh, place is uh, different from how a uh, man looks at it. And uh, the third example is uh, the way women uh, from the uh, third world went to the uh, first world in uh, um, on search for work or uh, as uh, labor or even as uh, sex workers. So there are basically about five strands we should understand uh, if we really have to get um, uh, deep and uh, understanding of uh, the feminist geography. One is that um, the liberal view wherein uh, they thought both men and uh, women are equal, uh, equal pay for equal work and then uh, the women who are actually working at home should also be um, uh, given uh, um, the benefit uh, and they should be treated as if they are also working like how men are going at working outside and then there was this uh, radical wherein um, more equality uh, was uh, sought by totally um, removing the patriarchal uh, society norms uh, 
uh, which had uh, very drastically uh, made this division of men and women uh, uh, during the uh, past. Then uh, there is also uh, a Marxism or a socialist uh, uh, kind of a strand uh, related to uh, geographic feminism and that is um, um, uh, like um, though uh, um, uh, women did agree that uh, to an extent uh, the um, uh, 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 women should be given uh, different rights but men said that they should not uh, take up their social issues related to their empowerment or their equality. It should be uh, adjunct to the uh, men's causes wherein men will take up these causes as a social cause and try to uh, improve the conditions of uh, women. And uh, similarly there is also uh, black uh, feminism and then there is a postmodernism um, uh, phase for uh, the feministic geography wherein uh, they wanted to totally remove the capitalistic and the patriotic uh, norms and uh, they were uh, involved in uh, politics, they were uh, getting involved in um, uh, public policy and uh, administrative decisions as well. So um, uh, with this backdrop of uh, five strands of uh, feministic geography, we we'll try, can try to uh, see how the feministic geography evolved over years. Uh, we can broadly divide them into three stages. Uh, the first stage was in the 70s where the sexist belief that women are supposed to be doing only X kind of things and not be associated uh, with the work which men were doing and then during the 80s um, it was thought that uh, while uh, man is could be involved in uh, production outside the house, women should be involved uh, within the house for just reproduction. Uh, and uh, then the present, uh, the third phase came, uh, wherein uh, mm, uh, there was a kind of woman uh, started uh, uh, improving their numbers in their employment and also uh, in uh, many organizations and uh, also in various other sectors. So um, they started uh, mm, uh, their uh, debates uh, uh, equally uh, with men and uh, they somehow started believing that now they are uh, equal to men in uh, many respects. So uh, besides this, uh, what is more important in this is you should understand because in recent years there has been a lot of research happening in the feminist geography and uh, I have uh, picked up a few um, important um, articles from the uh, journals. One uh, paper related to the uh, feminist geography um, clearly brings out uh, three uh, different uh, research approaches. One uh, is the feminist geography related to the uh, <coughs> what is called as uh, the difference between man and uh, woman. That difference uh, could be related to a place or location. In fact, if you see uh, or understand a place and location uh, much more in depth, you will find that. Uh, the uh, feminist geography or the way uh, the woman looked, uh, uh, the lens with which they uh, looked was uh, much uh, larger and they gave um, a much wider meaning to both place and uh, location and uh, they could uh, bring in the issues of uh, uh, safety and uh, safeguarding uh, in various places which uh, men could not uh, look into. So they looked beyond what uh, the men were uh, looking at at that time regarding place and uh, location. And then we have uh, the um, humanistic geography related to social relation, wherein uh, you know, this research method showed that uh, patriarchy was uh, infused in every walk of life when it came to um, living at home and whether it is working in office or uh, moving to social events or um, celebrations or practically in every walk of life uh, the patriarchy, uh, patriarchy was infused and uh, always showed that uh, the women were uh, subordinated and uh, were shown in a much uh, um, lesser light uh, compared to uh, men. And then um, the, the third um, uh, feministic geography um, approach uh, in research related to social construction 
uh, this social construction is uh, nothing but uh, um, the way uh, you look at uh, the feminist geography in a particular place in a particular time and then see um, how the um, uh, uh, division of uh, men and women and uh, the various concepts uh, related to that uh, evolve. So guys, uh, this is the broad uh, framework of uh, the feminist geography. I'll show you some slides, but please do remember that the last part, that is the three approaches towards uh, research in um, feminist geography may be an important one. It could be a short note or a long question, so uh, please pay attention towards that. Hello guys, uh, um, now we will try to understand uh, uh, the various um, stages of evolution of uh, the feminist geography and also see the uh, research trends uh, uh, happening uh, in this particular field. So <clears throat> all these I have already covered, I said uh, feminist geography is concerned first and foremost with improving women's lives by understanding the sources dynamics and speciality of women's oppression and with documenting strategies of resistance. These are the examples. These are the five strands. Uh, the first strand is about the uh, liberal uh, feminism. It removes all subjugation and subordination either from the husband or it could also be from father and it creates liberal principles for individual freedom. So and also it fosters uh, equal opportunities and uh, equalities. The Marxist uh, feminism uh, uh, is something slightly uh, different from the liberal or radical in the sense that uh, as I told you earlier, women should not fight for their own cause but stand by men to create awareness and transformation in the society. It's focused on three ways, understanding geographies of women, Differences that prevail between men and women geographies and the socialist feminist geographies. The Marxist feminism, or also, also called as socialist feminism in some circles, is a subtype of uh, feminist ideology which focuses on dismantling the capitalism as a way to liberate uh, women. It states that the economic inequality, the over dependence on men, the political confusion, and ultimately unhealthy social relations between men and women are the root of uh, women's oppression in the current social context and this was uh, made by angels and then there is this socialist feminism and then uh, radical uh, feminism is uh, different um, it uh, aims to dismantle the entire system of uh, patriarchy rather than making adjustments to the existing system through legal or social reforms which take uh, place um, for a very long period and hardly anything actually happens at the ground. So the radical fem uh, feminism believes in eliminating the concept of uh, the gender entirely and it upholds that the wages should be given to even the household work because that also involves work. In fact, only yesterday the Supreme Court also in uh, our country has said that the uh, household work also uh, is uh, payable should be paid and should be considered as work and then linking personal life with the professional life should not be different just because a woman is doing all the personal work, attending to the cage, attending to the garden, attending to the household court and all that, that is also should be linked to the professional work as work and that should be considered as well. And then postmodernism, uh, the emphasis is on uh, Again, destabilizing all the uh, patriarchal norms and ensuring that the society should be uh, equal to both men and women. And uh, they also uh, sought to seek uh, um, uh, gender inequality in society through various ways. At the stages of evolution of uh, the feminist geography, the first phase was in the uh, 70s. The second was in the 80s and the third phase is what the current and running. So in the first phase, uh, it was uh, drawn from the liberal uh, feminist movements starting right from the French Revolution and the other uh, mm, uh, liberal uh, feminist movements uh, wherein they uh, sought for equality between men and women 
in both public and private sector and it uh, wanted to, in to include women in geography and geographical research so it resulted in a growth in research into women's life particularly in the spaces of home the workplace and the streets and the societies the second phase uh, it moved uh, from simply placing women in geography to uh, examine uh, mechanisms that created the wide range of disparities in social material inequalities and uh, it gave recognition that uh, spaces were uh, gender gendered and not uh, viewed as neutral uh, many sp uh, spaces can be argued as heteropatriarchal spaces influenced by radical or uh, marxist links are made between home as a site of uh, a reproduction whereas the workplace is a space of production so thereby linking uh, patriarchy and capitalism in the third phase is a more uh, now the current phase the recognition uh, started um, about the um, increase in uh, um, employment uh, for women and also uh, broader social and cultural beliefs and practices still influence the opportunities and expectations of women so uh, and then they have increasingly interested in the differences that exist amongst the uh, men and women and it was influenced by the post structural feminists who sought to disrupt what is taken for granted as the woman is what they are and they should be no they said this is not like that women should be made um, totally um, uh, equal to men in all aspects whether do they are doing work at home or they are doing work in uh, a profession so um, more importantly uh, than all this is the three recent approaches towards the uh, feminist geography which have emerged over the last 30 years each has made and continue to make its own contribution to geographic research you please you know, pay attention to these three these three are in vogue there has been a lot of discussion on these three aspects globally and even in our country so there could be a, actually this could be a very topical uh, Uh, question um, in either 2020 or 2021 so feminist geography as a difference feminist geography as a social relation and feminist geography as a social construction so as a difference uh, here you can see that uh, it is uh, though both men and women have uh, studied place um, or connectivity or space or location but the way women have looked at it totally transformed the uh, meaning of uh, these concepts feminist geographers transformed the question say from where does work take place and this got transformed and got targeted like who works where to better understand the spatial dimensions of uh, gender divisions of labor measurements of variables like unemployment it gives better processes that contribute to economic marginalization of women as opposed to men so sense of place perceptions people have particular places compare men's and women's mental maps of a local neighborhood a uh, man looks at it differently he is carefree he can go anywhere in a better woman she thinks about the dangers in and around the neighborhood she considers what is a safe zone what is an unsafe zone and similarly that gets translated to the kids children she tells them kid please do not go to that particular place where there is a parking that is a dark area please do not go there she understands she perceives that these are dangers but men uh, doesn't look men don't look at uh, those kind of things so uh, this kind of knowledge uh, of uh, perceiving the safe zones and demarking the danger zones and zones which are safe as practical relevancy in that it identifies place that are enabling for women and might offer guidelines for constructions of environment that are not non threatening in uh, while constructing all these multi story building flats and all that women are never taken into account uh, for um, uh, their ideas if they are taken into ideas a lot of improvement can be done uh, and uh, for uh, the betterment of uh, the places and um, also the safety measures could be uh, easily made because the women's perception is totally different they understand things which might broad up so feminist geographers have difference have made two significant contributions among many others uh, first they have brought to light the role of women in the economy by noting for example the contribution of who work in the suburban back offices 
devoted to processing credit applications and that was a third world woman whose labor in uh, say manufacturing plants make possible the production of low wage consumer items say like electronics like in india most of the cigarettes and this uh, bd they are all done by women but unfortunately they there is not taken as a employment because it is an unorganized sector so in unorganized sector women are employed and they do very good work and in, even in foreign countries there is a back office uh, work of giving uh, credit and including uh, uh, the electronics etc so the um, because of uh, this um, feministic geography these were brought to light and then uh, now our societies and economies have started realizing that yes women also contribute in a very big way you know, even if it is in the background second feminist geographers have expanded domains including new research of women's roles in neighborhood associations inequalities in the provision of daycare facilities and efforts to eliminate environmental pollution and toxic waste hazards she uh, who does the um, entire um, um, house upkeep so she knows what are the um, hazardous waste that are going on and then she uh, indirectly and even directly um, tells the um, housing societies and all that and uh, um, makes the grassroots uh, organizing of meetings making them understand how to dispose of waste and all that so she is fundamentally trying to make in a transformation without even the man knowing about it so gender as a social relation this is another important because patriarchy is one of the key structures studied by feminist geographers it is an oppression even in language you see the way um, even in our country the way men use their uh, language they shout and whatever they say is always the last word it is nothing but because of patriarchal oppression uh the relations that link the lives of men and women take place within and between a variety of specific sites such as the family school and church each of which is infused with patriarchy the effects of which range from patronizing uh paternalism to outright violence those who study gender as a social relation often rely upon research strategies that involve talking to women through interviews focus groups interest groups and the like But in addition, they are equally likely to pay attention to the subtle ways that uh, patriarchy, class, race, nation, and sexuality are formed and perpetuated through every day to various forms of representation, including political rhetoric. So, to uncover this uh, geography, now uh, feminist geographers are also taking up uh, leading posts. Uh, they are becoming leaders. They are able to debate. um uh, the basic necessities and um, they have become leaders in collection of primary field based data precisely because such data are necessary to reveal women's everyday spatial experiences as i told you earlier these unorganized sector work where women are largely employed particularly of the third world have been part out due to this uh, uh, research in uh, primary data which is now one of the main focuses which throws up uh, um the avenues and flags that the women are much more employed than men in various sectors which hitherto were not even recognized so feminist geography as a social construction this is slightly a complex thing it is still in a very formative stage but try to uh, read this book geography and gender an introduction to feminist geography published uh, in 84 which is a ground breaking text in many ways as it has focused attention on the specificities of women's experiences as they have uh, seen through the various evolutionary stages of geography so that is all uh, guys i have uh, given you in essence what is feminist geography the last three uh, are uh, very important particularly with reference to the research approaches that is the um, uh, feminist geography in difference feminist geography in social relation and feminist geography in social construction uh, try to um, read this and um, listen to the uh, video a couple of times and get the hang of it because if any question related to feminist geography comes please try to bring in these aspects because the other things are all very routine anyone will write Okay guys I'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow uh, all the best for your um, the geography part of the general studies paper 1 I'm sure you are all going to kill get those 100 and 80 marks whatever those questions are and then 
it will uh, improve, improve your uh, final ranking. So, okay guys, uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.